Should you leave an air gap behind your acoustic treatment? Leaving an air gap behind your acoustic treatment can help increase overall absorption and extend its effective range into the low frequencies. This effect is extremely helpful when you're trying to get as much bass trapping in a room as possible, so it's often recommended to people that they mount their panels floating a few inches from the wall for the best performance. In many cases, a better question is whether or not the increased performance gain from the spacing is worth the additional space taken up in the room. In most cases, if there is such space available, you're better off using thicker panels in the same space even if the air gap has to be a bit smaller. These performance gains are actually more to do with the distance of the front face of the panel to the wall behind it. This is why the benefits are so great for a thinner panel. For a 6 inch thick panel, the front face is already 6 inches away from the wall, even if it's flush mounted. So it's further away than a 2 inch absorber space 2 inches out from the wall, so it's less critical for that thicker panel. Why do we space acoustic panels with an air gap? Porous absorbers work by acting on sound velocity. Because of this, acousticians refer to this type of absorber as a velocity absorber. When the sound strikes the panel, the vibrations from the air molecules are converted into a minuscule amount of heat. But when a sound wave reflects off of a wall or ceiling at the reflection point, the velocity of the sound is zero because it has to stop, change directions, and establish a new velocity in a different trajectory. When we move the front of the panel further from the zero velocity point, we improve the performance of the velocity absorber. In order to absorb lower frequencies for a cleaner bass response, the panel either needs to be thicker or spaced off of the wall to cover more of the wavelength. The bass frequencies are going to have longer wavelengths to cover, with the high velocity areas of the wave further from the boundaries of the room. How far should I mount my panel from the wall? A good rule of thumb is that whatever your panel's thickness is, that's a good distance to float the panel. Any further can help even more, but we quickly reach a point of diminishing returns. That is, the small performance gain isn't worth even more and more room being taken up. Depending on what kind of issues you're trying to solve for, how much space is in your room, you might find that no air gap is the best solution. GIK's 242, 244, and Monster Bass Drop already have an air gap built into the panel. Having a built-in air gap gives you more absorption potential per panel per dollar without the need for additional hardware or complicated mounting techniques. For placing treatment on the ceiling, GIK offers our ceiling cloud mounting brackets that work with any of those GIK products that have a built-in air gap, and they lower them an extra 4 inches into the room. Floating your panels off the ceiling gives you the benefit of extra base absorption without taking up any extra standing room. For something like the soffit, any additional air gap provides very little improvement because it's already so thick. So in most cases, it's best to just leave these right up against the wall. If you're still struggling to get your bass response under control, you can visit the GIK Acoustics website where you can find tons of useful tools, articles, and videos, as well as our free acoustic advice form that was designed to help you get key details of your room over to our team of designers so that they can get you the very best sound for your space. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKacoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.